all right guys welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in thanks for watching thanks for subscribing we're back at it again with full self-driving beta 10.6.1 which has much improved turning capabilities as well as other capabilities and we're going to put it to the rigors once again by seeing if it can make its way into new york city so stay tuned All right, we're going to see today if 10.6.1 fares better than 10.5 did with getting into New York City. All right, we have the Tesla Model S Plaid and we have it on chill in terms of the profile for autopilot slash full self-driving. We're driving the limit for the most part and we're going to go into the tunnel and we're going to make our way through some city streets and see how it fares. All right, so for those who are new to the channel, OG Tesla owners here, owners and enthusiasts, over seven years of ownership and five Teslas through the process. And of course, we have uh, extensive experience with over 40,000 miles on autopilot slash full self-driving, as well as uh, being used to driving on beta since 2015 so we lots of experience so if you see us do things that seem unsafe or seem like we have to be prepared to take over we've been doing this for a very very long time so please believe we have tons of experience and there's no better experience than experience all right pretty light day in terms of the tunnel i'll try to go as far as i can in terms of letting the car do its thing but again it's a model s plaid not a model 3 a model model y so parts are a little hard to come by so i'm not going to be too brave in that regard disengaging for the toll I'll re-engage here well after this cone I should say doesn't like to re-engage right here so that's good to know let me get into the tunnel and now re-engage here like I normally do once it allows me to do so. Okay, so someone may have seen our videos and have disallowed uh, full self-driving beta in the tunnel right there. So I'm going to re-engage now. <laughs> I'll also brighten it up a bit here. So it didn't allow us to re-engage and it also didn't allow us to engage. I'm going to go a little faster here just because the traffic behind me is piling up a bit. But it didn't allow us to initially engage with the cones in play. I had my photo in the accelerator it was going pretty slow, but it wouldn't allow us to engage with those cones in play. And then it wouldn't allow us to re-engage until the message sort of cleared and sort of reset itself. So that's a Good indication of it's a good uh, situation where if autopilot was incapable or full self-driving was incapable, it wouldn't allow you to engage it. So that's always a good sort of safety mechanism there. Pretty good so far through the tunnel. Same as last time. Nice and smooth, nice and composed, even though it's extremely tight lane and very close to this wall right here. Does a pretty good job. Wants us to be in the right lane again. Uh, those bumpers are here, so I'm going to uh, be at the ready in case it decides to make a turn. And then I'm going to cancel this lane change because it's still trying to turn over these little uh, dividers here. All right. Out of the tunnel. Lots of construction here. Let's see how it fares. Lots of construction. We'll let it do its thing this time see what it does it's confused putting on a signal okay much better in terms of knowing where it wants to go 
West 40th Street where that car is going. It needs to turn this time. Let's see if it can do it. Oh yes, oh yes, we've done it. We've done it, yes. This is what it could not do with 10.5 that it's doing now. Exceptional job, Tesla, in such a short time. Just iterating very quickly with full self-driving beta and its capabilities. Great job, Tesla. So last for, for those who didn't see the last video, 10.5, we went to New York City. It couldn't even make this turn. It didn't even know how to make this turn, even though it was in the turning lane. This time it had a little bit of hesitation, but it made the turn confidently. And uh, it was it was smooth. It was it was smooth once it got it got it in gear and actually knew where it was going. Quite smooth. Okay, let's see what happens as we go further. And this is where New York City conditions become a little bit crazy, and these aggressive taxi drivers are always present. But I'll be at the ready. Try not to block the crosswalk, but I do want to move up a little bit. And full self-driving wants to stay at the crosswalk, so I'm going to just give it a little bit of acceleration against its will just to get out of the crosswalk here. As you see on the screen, we're blocking it a little bit and just a little bit more, and we should be good. All right. It's proceeding now. Cars are in the way. It's trying to maneuver around the situation. I'll let it do its I'll let it do its thing, but again, I won't take too many risks just cuz we are in the plaid. And I will intervene if it causes any harm to anyone, obviously. But so far so good, Tesla. So far so good. Got us through the tunnel. Obviously, we can't do tolls yet and just right after the toll I had a little issue re-engaging. Here's an obstacle here. Let's see how it maneuvers around this. Path planner wants to go towards it, then it wants to go around it. A little bit concerning. I'm going to proceed forward. Turn left onto Eighth Avenue. Okay, pretty good there. Again, Path Planner did want to go around the truck to the right, which is not good. And this is a lane that it doesn't see that it's quite obstructed. So I'm going to again just be at the ready because we're making the left here, and it needs to be in this lane. So I'm going to disengage here because it needs to be in this lane. And it's not going to, uh, it's not really doing that right now. All right, so, so far, so good. Again, edge cases, more experience here inside of, more experience here inside of uh, New York City. And just making sure that, again, uh, the beta understands the conditions here so it can make the best decisions and knows how to operate itself in these environments. Avenue. This blinking yellow light becomes a little uh, a little odd, so I'm actually going to take this one just because pedestrians are crossing here and it can get a little dicey and I don't want to put anyone at risk. But so far, so good. I think this is it. I think we'll leave it here. We won't press our luck. <laughs> we'll sort of leave it here. And, uh, you know, that's it. Let me know your thoughts on this on this latest version. I so far very much like 10.6.1, the best version yet in terms of its capabilities, in terms of how smooth it is turning, how how confidence inspiring it is. Forget zero disengagements. That's not what we're really measuring here. We're really measuring how comfortable we feel riding or being driven in this particular car on full self-driving beta, uh, much akin to how if you had a less experienced driver, you want to feel comfortable and confident with them behind the wheel. That's really what we're looking for here, not necessarily zero disengagement. So, so far, so good, Tesla. Until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.